And with temperatures rising now for summertime beginning officially in a few days, it's important to keep your food safe when you're eating outdoors like many of us do. Health officials say there are a few things to avoid foodborne illnesses that you can do now. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has our story. Whether you like to grill in the backyard or picnic in the park, the summer season is a popular time to gather and eat outdoors. Something you have to keep in mind is that bacteria tends to grow faster in warmer and humid months. The CDC estimates there are about 48 million illnesses, 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths from foodborne diseases in the U.S. each year. In order to stay safe and avoid foodborne illnesses, follow guidance from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The first step, the USDA recommends washing your hands ahead of preparing food and again before and after handling raw meat. We recommend that you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds with uh, warm water and soap. The USDA says to beware of the danger zone between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit when bacteria grows most rapidly. This means storing hot foods at or above 140 degrees Fahrenheit by keeping foods on the grill in heated chafing dishes, slow cookers or warming trays. And for perishables that are cold, store at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. So you're putting them in coolers, you're keeping them in insulated bags, you're using cold points like ice um, and gel packs. Try packing drinks in a separate cooler from food since the beverage cooler may be opened frequently and could reach an unsafe temperature for perishable foods. And when foods are taken out to be served, follow the two hour rule. So we recommend that you don't leave your food outside for more than two hours. If it's over 90 degrees outside, we recommend you don't leave it outside for more than one hour. If food sits out for longer, consider it unsafe and discard it. The USDA says when in doubt, throw it out. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.